right in. See if I can nab it. Ooh. Don't bite me, mama. Uh, future Brian here. One of them died. Let's have a look real quick. I've got a theory about this. Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. We got an exciting video for you today. A good video for you today. Because it's our last clutch of the season. It's the last clutch of the season. The temperatures are freezing. Uh, link up there if you want to relive that song. Last clutch of the season and it's a bamboo female. One of the first snakes we actually got here at Triple B TV dot. And let's check out how she's doing on her clutch. We're also going to show, after we show you the clutch and we get it pulled, which is what we're probably gonna do and I'll show you why, there's a new feature on Morph Market that I'm really excited about and I was waiting for a clutch to drop so that I could use this feature and show you guys how cool it is. So we're gonna do that. Get into Dot's enclosure here. Yeah, come and take a look, T. Now, she's got a good amount of eggs in there wrapped up, but for some reason, she kicked these ones to the curb. And see, the problem with that is that they're not in her coil, so it's not keeping humidity. You can see this egg right here, it's already sunken in quite substantially. So if we just kind of bump her up a little bit here, don't bite me, mama. There is a slug hiding right in. Let's see if I can nab it. Ooh, got it. There's the slug. And these other three, I mean, maybe I'll leave the rest with her and then just incubate the one she kicked out. Um, is that a real slug in there? Sure is. Nine good eggs in one slug. So I think what I'll do is I'll just incubate these ones and I'll let her keep the rest. Cause I, I really, I was on the fence about letting her keep them since she didn't wrap all of them. I kind of want, but she had such a nice tight wrap on the rest of those eggs that I think I'm just gonna let her keep them. So there's a slug inside here? No silly. <laughs> Kind of an interesting thing here. This one egg that she had kicked out and the one that was kind of a little more deflated really doesn't have very strong veins. So I'm gonna put this one off to the back side here and, and these two do, they have very solid visible embryos and strong veins. So these ones I'll put over here. And the interesting thing is gonna be to see how long these eggs take to incubate versus how long they are with mom. We're incubating these at about 80, 90, 90 degrees, which is roughly what her hot spot is in there on that hot side of the tub where she's wrapped her eggs up. So, should be pretty interesting. Brought my computer down here. We're gonna go over this together right now. Uh, so we got the clutch, part of it with mom, part of it in the incubator, and this is a cool feature on Morph Market right here. We're gonna go into our animals, and we're gonna learn together because I'm learning with this too. Uh, from animals, we're going to go to somewhere. <laughs> oh, right here, offspring groups. Also, just a, a little caveat here. There are a lot of really good tutorial videos here on Morph Market for you to check out. Um, any of the things you go to, like when I go to offspring groups, little video click right there, boom, it'll take you to a whole thing that John put together on how to navigate this offspring groups page. So just be aware that that's there and let's move on forward. So I'm gonna add a group and that group is going to be 2212 because they were hatched this or, or they're laid this year and they should actually hatch just before Christmas. So 2212, so that's our 12th clutch of the season which is the most clutches we've had in any season going forward or so far. So it's cool. It's cool to be growing ever so slowly as we always plan to. Uh, category, you got reptiles, got pythons, ball pythons. Ooh, it's nice and at the top. Uh, visibility, we're gonna keep this one. We'll, we'll go ahead and make it public, why not? Why not? Everybody can see this. I mean, this is all public. So we can search our adult female animals and I should have them in here now since in that last video, if you didn't watch it, I'll put a link right here. But an easy way to get all of your animals into Morph Market so that you can have the whole database of your entire breeding stock uploaded and all animals there so everybody can see it and share as much as you want and people can follow along with what you're doing and how you're doing. But there's Dot, that's our bamboo female. So she is the dam 
And Sire, we only had uh, one male go to her, and that was uh, Stud. No, no, that was. Where's he at? Is he not in here? You know what? He might not be in here yet. Scuba Steve, he's right here. Scuba Steve, his animal ID is 20 dash 001M. Uh, he is a. Well, he's Scuba Steve. All right, now that we got Steve in there, get his picture later. Uh, Scuba Steve, there he goes. And now we go down here, we had uh, nine good eggs, one slug. Ooh, look, this future dates can be given as anticipated birthday. So we're looking somewhere just in December, just before, uh, just before Christmas sometimes. So let's go ahead and say like the 18th. It'll be interesting to see if the eggs hatch first with mom or hatch first in the incubator. That'll be really interesting to see. I'll definitely update that when that comes. Lay date is 2022, October 9th. Now that's about all I'm gonna do for that. I'm, I am going to uh, go in here and put the photos of the clutch that I took. And that photo of mom on eggs is taking a really long time to upload for some reason, but we will just, uh, let's see, how about some, some, and you can make public notes and private notes, so some notes for yourself, like things that I'm not gonna share here, so we'll just say blue, but dee dee you don't get a note, I'm gonna put in the private. But in public, so I'm gonna put uh, mom on eggs, three in incubator. Gosh. And here's the cool thing, while that photo is still trying to upload, in the future when they are actually hatched, then I can do, boom, create offspring. I'd really like, let's just, let's just try and manifest this. We got three male, six female. That's what we'd like. Hey, bam, submit that. And boom, it creates all of the animals here that you could have. They're all definitely 100% het clown. You can, you can get in here and, and add whatever they end up being, you know, it's change, change everything to what it, what it is. And it looks like create, it creates a, a little ID here. It's a little different than how I do it, but that'll work. I'm down to change my IDs if that's what it auto generates. F dot, it's not that much different than what I do on my codes. So I could definitely um, change it to that. You know, usually I have zero, zero, one or whatever, but that, that works actually really well. That's a little less confusing than the way I do it to be fair. So that's, that's good. For now, I'm just gonna delete this because we don't have any of that, but it's just really cool the way you can track all this stuff. And then once you're actually ready to sell these animals, you can just go in here and say, and boom, change it for sale and put a price. And that's pretty cool, you know, bam, and then bam. And then you're, you're off and running and it's all ready to go on Morph Markets. All the works have already been done. Instead of having to upload a bunch of animals that you didn't have already, just bam, it's right there. It's exciting, I like it, I'm happy about it. And uh, I hope you guys are too. Again, if, you, if this wasn't clear enough, you can always go and watch John's video on this specific subject, which I'll put a link down in the description for that. He actually does a much better job of explaining it than I do. I just wanted to walk it through on, in my own way to show that even the moron can do this, you know? Uh, if I can do it, that's, that proves that. So yeah, great. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. I hope you're excited about this as I am. Uh, future Brian here, one of them died. Let's have a look. Real quick, I've got a theory about this. Um, so, the one of the, one of the eggs in the incubator died. So, as you watch the rest of this video, you know I'm going to say that there's nine eggs in the clutch, but there's actually only eight now, unfortunately. But I've got an interesting theory about this. And it is a theory now, I'd say, and not just a uh, hypothesis, because take a look. So that the one that was far away from the rest of the clutch, that's the one that died. The one that mom tried to like, it looked like she was trying to really push it out and get it away from the other eggs. And these were the other two that were kind of attached to it, but I separated them out. This one didn't have very strong veins. Now, what my theory is, is that mom knows. Mom knows which egg is good and which egg is bad. And, oh, I gotta get that out of there. <laughs> it's disgusting. So it's just interesting that she seems to know what's going on with the eggs, because and it's a theory now, not just the hypothesis, because I've seen this happen now with many females. I, I mean, I want to say 
at least four or five now in the last couple of years that I've been breeding. Mom seems to know if there's a bad egg and just kicks it out and says, this isn't good. I, I, any egg that seem, even looks like a good and might have some veins, which this one had like some faint veins in it. There were some, but I've seen more moms now kick out eggs that end up going bad than not. It's really interesting. Um, really interesting and cool. I'm just a moron, so I'm not going to get any scientific studies on this stuff, but... Uh, yeah, it's, it's still cool to think about that, that mom just really knows what's going on. I'm going to get these back in the incubator and then we'll get back to the video. Actually, <laughs> I probably put this at the very end of the video. So you guys, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, links down in the description for all the cool stuff you might want to check out related to this video and just related to this channel. You guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we will see you on the next video. Aloha.